Masking with paper towels. That's a fun technique at Color Me Mine. It starts with any color, in our case yellow. And we're going to blend it into some orange. Anytime you blend two colors together, start with the lighter one. I use a lot of water to blend it better into the surface on the first coat. Main focus in the center, of course, but some of it comes out further out. That's the first coat of yellow. Now we add number 18, pumpkin pie. Also water it down to a nice flowy consistency. Move your brush back and forth following the shape of the plate. Cover the entire rim solid. And then use water to blend it into the yellow on its way into the center. Okay, very well. This first layer will dry very quickly. So we can continue with a second coat right away. Okay, very nice. And blend it into the yellow by going back and forth lightly with the brush. Use water to dilute the color. And now all we need to do is add a second coat of yellow in the center. Here's more number 46. Clean your brush. And paint your second coat of yellow right over the center of the plate. Now let's cut some paper towels. Fold them once, fold them twice, fold them one more time and cut a simple shape like a flower petal. One cut will give you multiple copies of the same shape. Now can be laid out right onto the plate. Here's our flower. Use a medium round brush. Dip it in water and gently wet each piece of paper towel until all flower petals are stuck to the surface of the plate. Now we're going to introduce a different color, number 90, red. Slightly water it down so it flows easy off the brush. and cover the entire plate with one coat of red. This of course could be any other color that you choose for your project. In general it's a good idea to choose significantly different colors layer per layer. Very nice. Cover the whole plate with red. And let's add more flower petals right in spaces in between the ones we have already placed there. Here's a second layer of our flower. Wet each piece of paper towel again until it sticks to the plate.
go quickly and gently until every single piece of paper towel is attached. Now we can paint another color. How about number two, stone wash? Slightly water it down so it doesn't be so sticky that it, it may pick up the paper towels off the plate with the brush. So nice and flowy, quickly apply brush strokes all around the plate, especially in the open areas where there are no paper towels. But it's important to paint right over the paper towels to make sure that the shapes will show up once the masking is removed. Well, no need to wait any further. As soon as you're done painting this layer, we can simply see what is happening underneath of the paper towels. Use tweezers and gently lift off each paper towel. Okay, this is our layer of red and here's our layer of yellow-orange. As you can see, the first color you put on the plate ends up on top of your design. Here, while the plate is still wet, you could add scratch marks into the red back to yellow-orange. and into the blue, back to red. That's called Scrofito Technique. How about a center of the flower? You could decorate it in many ways. Here's an easy way. Use the back of a brush. And it's always a good idea to handle the edges of the plate. To decorate a little further, we can add red brush strokes over the yellow center of the flower. And now it's ready to be glazed and fired. And here's a big dinner plate done that way. Here's a salad plate, and here's the whole set. This is Masking with paper towels. Fun technique that could be applied to just about any piece.